Hey there, it is Lissy. It is Saturday, July 18th, and um, it's almost two o'clock. What has been happening here? Um, let's see, what did I do this week? I don't know, nothing really. You know, Pilates one night, dinner with a friend another night. Um, last night I stayed in, I cooked dinner, I went and bought a whole bunch of stuff at the farmer's market yesterday. So I made a like, I love when you can use all local, like, fresh stuff. It's just so easy to cook because everything's so good. So I literally roasted some tomatoes and some of these little bright purple, they call them fairy eggplants. So I roasted tomatoes and the little eggplants in the oven. And I cooked some fresh pasta that I bought at the farmer's market. And I just, like, slapped it all together with some fresh Parmesan cheese and olive oil. It was delicious. Um, I went to the gym this morning. Uh, what else? I went out for a walk, some errands, and I'm getting ready to go over to Neiman's to pick up. I told you last week I bought a couple things that weren't in, so I'm going to grab those. And then Alicia and I are going to go out and about and like out to dinner tonight. I'm not sure what we're doing. We talked about there's a rosé tasting every, mon every Monday, every Saturday at the Intercontinental Hotel from 3 to 5. But it's outside, and it's not, I mean, it rained this morning, and I think the rain is done, but I'm not sure it's nice out or getting nice out today, so we'll see. But in any event, here I am. Um, but I wanted to show you, um, I had mentioned that I was going to show you some of my makeup. Oh, God, look at the pile. That, that pile of stuff is stuff I'm getting rid of. I've shown it all to you, though, already. Um... Oh, anyway, so, you know, I've shown you over the last, like, six months or so some makeup that I've bought, but now that I've used a bunch of it, I figured I'll give you more information. So, I'll start with these foundations. So, you may or may not recall, I probably need to get my reading glasses out, because some of the stuff I won't be able to see the little word, like the little writing. But I have, for a long time, I used the Tom Ford, what is this? Traceless foundation with SPF 15. I think this is in the color bisque. I'm pretty sure and I love this It's lots of coverage um, Which I like But I'll tell I, I use this more in the winter um, So on a recent not a recent but like, you know, maybe in January on a recent like in a not a recent but in a January trip to Bergdorf's I went to the Charlotte Tilbury counter and I bought this Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation in number four, Fair. Um, and I've been using this a lot. So in, I get a lot of redness in my cheeks and like on my chin and kind of my forehead, but my bangs kind of cover that. Um, so, and it's more apparent in the winter, probably because I'm a little tanner now. And in the winter, the severity of like the dryness and the heat always being on and the showers hotter. Like I feel like I get a lot more redness in my skin in the winter. So I need the deeper coverage, which the Tom Ford provides. But I'm really liking the Charlotte Tilbury now. And I didn't really notice the, like I started using this, not even thinking about it, but not until I went back to the Tom Ford and then I tried another one that I'll show you, did I realize like this is my better summer one. So the other thing is I had bought this Laura Mercier, it's called Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. This is in medium ivory. Um, this is probably of the three the most coverage. So I did use this like recently and I was like, I think I noticed it when I, I think I took this with me to... Um, Charleston and when I was on Kiwa and I stayed at that resort there they had one of those nice little like you know vanities where you could get ready with like one of those mirrors with the lights you know that you can bring close to your skin and when I put this on it like definitely I could see in the mirror how much like more coverage it gave me so I decided I'll save this for you know once we get into the fall and the winter again god I look like very dewy so it's, it's muggy that's why um so those are the foundations. Then, okay, so I have bought a whole bunch of, you know, I have bought several um, eyeshadow palettes. And surprisingly, I don't even remember why I bought this one. This is the Stila Nouveau Natural Eyeshadow Palette. So Stila, and then it's very, like, used, you can see. But, um, like, it's lots of really pretty, like, beige and, um, kind of pinky neutrals, some 
with a little bit of shimmer and some without. And you can see I've been using this to death. So this is what I used today. So I used, let's see if we can see what the names of these colors are. Okay, I think I used Desire and Understanding. So Desire and Understanding, like this on my lid and this in the crease today. And then also a little in the crease, I used this one, which is Jezebel. But I really like, I really am liking this. And I'm finding myself of all the other eyeshadows I have using this one. Now I also had bought, oh gosh, what's that other palette? I'm not gonna remember the name of it. I'll have to figure it out and tell you. So annoying. But I bought this other palette that was definitely more matte, which I really like, but I like a little more shimmer in the summer, I guess. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so I love this. Now the other thing that I use, so this is a Shantikai like eyeliner. I don't know what it's called. God knows with the mirroring. I, I mean, it's a Shantikai kind of a liquid liner, but this is very firm. So it makes it like easier, much easier to apply. So I apply it on the top of my, like, you know, above my lashes on, on my lid there. Um, so if you like kind of, I mean, it's not an extreme liquid liner look, but it's easier to apply than a regular liquid liner because of the way the kind of, it's not even a brush. I don't know. I mean, it's probably like a little plastic applicator thing and you don't have to pump or anything. It just is full until I guess it's not anymore. So I really have been using this every day. Oh, and then I didn't bring it out here, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Um, this is just, so I love the Tom Ford liners. They're a little smudgy, but I have a brown and a black, and I use them like, what do they call this in the waterline? Inside, like, the lashes and underneath a little. Um, so I use this, you know, with that. And then I live and die by the Tom Ford mascara. Like, I've, I've tried other ones. I just, this is the Tom Ford mascara in Raven. It's the Extreme Mascara. I don't like, there's one that's waterproof, or I don't know if there's one that's waterproof. There's one that's more lengthening. This one is more thickening. I don't like the lengthening ones. I like the thickening ones better, so I use this. Um, oh, and then I have tried all sorts of like eyeshadow bases, primers, whatever, but honestly, this is just a little Laura Mercier. Um, it's really a concealer, but I just put it all over my lid before I put my shadow on, and then a little bit under my eyes, I use my fingers. I like that. Um, and then, almost the last thing I'm gonna show you. I love this Charlotte Tilbury, the Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, hold on. So basically, it's just a nice bronzer, and then I, you know, I like the um, highlighter. So I use the highlighter, like, you know, on the top of my cheeks. The other thing I like about this is sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, I use this just as my eyeshadow. I use the highlighter all over my lid and I use the bronzer like in my crease. And it looks really nice and it's, you know, especially if you're traveling, you don't want to bring a lot. Like you can literally <laughs> use this for almost everything. Um, oh, and then I don't use this as much, but this is more of a blush. This is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in First Love from Charlotte Tilbury. So it's just a, I don't need a lot because I already have red and pink in my cheeks. I don't need a ton of color, so but if I want more, I use this. And then lastly, this whole like week or so, I've been using this. I have so many MAC lipsticks that look alike. I don't always know which is which. But this one I pulled out, and I'm really liking it. It's the MAC Cream Sheen in Cream Cup. So it's like a nudie pink. And then I've been using the MAC cream sheen glass in partial to pink. So that's what I have on now. Pretty much all this makeup is what I have on now. Almost all of it, other than, you know, I told you which foundation I'm using and all that. Um, and then I have my little Paris Hello Kitty <laughs> compact to keep in my purse when I have to touch up. Um, so that's the makeup I've been using. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, I also, you know, I was out walking this afternoon. What time is it? Okay, I have a few more minutes before I have to prance out of here. Um, so one thing that motivates me for exercise is music. Like I love music 
And I was thinking today, like, there are so many concerts right now locally here in Boston. I didn't even, I mean, I didn't, I don't really pay attention to the concert schedule. I don't usually go to concerts. But, you know, Billy Joel was here at Fenway. Like, God, do I love Billy Joel. And I know I'm like, you know, well into my 40s. But do I love that Taylor Swift? She is playing at Foxborough. She's incredible. You know, like, she's 20, whatever, 26 years old. She sold out Foxborough for three nights. That stadium seats 60,000 people. 180,000 people bought tickets to her concert. It's incredible. But I love that teeny bopper, angsty, boyfriend broke up with me music. Like, it just gets me going. And so actually I was listening to her, you know, the latest, that 1989 album um, as I was out exercising today. And I was thinking, like, there are two things that, like, can, for me, bring me back to a time and a place or make me feel something, you know, from another point in my life. And it's music and fragrance. Like, certain fragrance will always, like, for example, when I was in high school, well, when I finally went from an all-girls high school to one that had boys, all the boys wore polo, Ralph Lauren, cologne. And if I smell that or, like, Dracar, Dracar Noir, I don't even know if they make that anymore either of those, but gosh, like, does that make me remember when I was like 16, 17, 18 years old? Um, and certain songs bring me back. Like there's this Eddie Money song, Take Me Home Tonight, makes me think of my high school boyfriend. You know, wouldn't think, I mean, that was 30 years ago. Like wouldn't think of him but for that song. And God, I love that song. But I was listening to, you know, Taylor Swift today and I just was like loving it. And, um, you know, there, I just, I think I just love music. But anyway, that's my little rant. Um, so I'll get up and show you what I'm wearing and then be on my merry way. Well, before I get up, this is a little Chanel pendant necklace. The usual, the Hermes, the CDC bracelet, and then another, like a Chanel, you know, goldish bracelet here, layered together. Um, I'm carrying my pink Balenciaga bag with the rose gold with an Hermes scarf. And then I'll get up. This is a Sport Max. You can't, the color, it's really a baby pink. It's hard to tell. I'm wearing that with my, I think these are AG Distress jeans. I don't know. I have to tell you. And my Laurent's Stacad booty. So hold on. Okay. So, oh, you can't see anything like this. Yeah, there we go. So this shirt, I like it, the high-low, flowy. It's got this, I don't always know what to do with this. You can kind of let it hang or you can do it in a little bit of a bow, which is what I did. Some semi-distressed, like, skinny jeans and these booties that I, like, love. Um, they're be-studded. You know how I feel about be-studded things. Um, and I think I'm going to wear my silver. Ray-Ban aviators. Um, so anyway, I feel like there was more I was going to tell you of what's happening. <sighs> I feel like there was. I think tomorrow I'm going to go see that Amy Schumer movie. You know, honestly, it wouldn't have been my ra on my radar, but one of my friends pinged me and said, hey, do you want to see it? And I was like, why not? And then, you know, she's now all of a sudden all over the place, so now I'm noticing her. Um, so that'll be interesting. What else was like? I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you. I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Saturday, and I'll be back at you soon. Bye.